Good morning, it's Leah here at Blackfish Finance. Today we've got a new guest. Uh, we've got John Morris, who is a real estate auctioneer here in Adelaide. So uh, he's an independent auctioneer, so a few of you guys might have seen him around the traps uh, working for different real estate agents. And a lot of people in the industry do recognise John because he was the training director at the uh, Real Estate Training College. So thank you for coming in today. Thanks for having me. We do have heaps of questions about clients going to auction. So John is the expert here in Adelaide, so we thought we'd get him in, ask some questions, and um, we'll share his contact details as well, because he's happy to be a source for you guys uh, if you're going to auction or if you want to sell at auction. Just to, if, if, any sort of general questions, because it's always a bit high stress buying and selling at auction. So thank you for coming with us today. Pleasure. Now, we thought, um, I've got a few different things uh, to ask you today. So a lot of our clients don't even understand the process. So how do they register what actually happens before the auction and after the auction? So do you want to tell them what's sort of normal here now? Yeah, absolutely. So look, registration can be done on the day. You can do it beforehand, but most people turn up. There's usually an open inspection um, prior to the auction for half an hour. That will give you ample time to register. Now, if you are going to register, please make sure you've done all your due, due diligence on the property, but also make sure you turn up with some identification. That's very important. Yeah. We often have people not turning up with ID. We have to know who we're registering, basically. Yeah, and um, a lot of our clients ask us about the um, deposit they have to pay yeah. because it's in the contract uh, beforehand. So how does that generally happen? So basically the deposit can be paid by EFT on the next business day. Okay. So generally, the standard terms and conditions state that a 10% deposit will be required and settlement will take place in 30 days. All of that is negotiable. Um, generally, I would say I would never allow my, or not allow, I would never advise any of my clients to take less than about a $10,000 deposit. Yeah. Um, settlement can be 30 days, 45 days, 60 days, that kind of thing. But the, that, they're the questions you, you should be asking the agent prior to the auction anyway. Excellent. So if I was going to an auction on Saturday, I'd yeah. contact the agent and say, we're definitely keen to come. We don't want to put 10% in because right. whatever reason. Well, we're you'd rather have, have that money in your, your account rather than the trust account. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but we do want 45 days if possible, and then the agent gives us it all clear before we roll up. Absolutely. So that way. Okay, excellent. Um, and then can you explain uh, the, how a proxy bid or a phone bid works for yeah. if a client can't actually get there on the day? Absolutely. So a proxy bidder is if you get somebody else to bid on your behalf. Now, if you're going to be a proxy bidder, then there is a risk on you as the proxy bidder because okay. you are really bidding. Yeah. So you must, if you're going to, if you're going to uh, bid as a proxy for somebody else, make sure you get the proxy bidder's written authority beforehand okay. because then that allows them to not have the liability of actually buying the home. Yeah. So I would always get somebody that you trust to <laughs> proxy bid for you, um, family member or something like that. But the other way you can do it is you can literally pre-register and bid on the phone as long as the agent has enough staff members. So, so, you, we, so yeah. we can literally get a staff member to be on the phone at the time with you on the other side, say you're interstate or something like that. Okay, excellent. Yeah. And now John uh, did uh, let me know something new that I haven't heard of um, as well, which is um, an app called Gavel. So yeah. can you explain that? It's really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So Gavel is G-A-V-L. Um, it's an app on the App Store. Um, I am one of the ambassadors of Gavel. So it's basically an app that films auctions live and streams them live. Um, and you can pre-register to actually bid on those properties as well. So this is a nationwide thing. It was, it was actually invented by a footballer yeah. um, who was sick of missing out on auctions. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, so he just thought, how can I be at several auctions? Because what always happens, if you look at my calendar, the next six weeks, 11 o'clock on a Saturday is booked out. Yeah. Because everyone thinks that's the only time you can call an auction. Yeah, okay. So there are so many auctions at 11 o'clock on a Saturday. Yeah. I've had it myself and I've been buying, you know, and you have to just work out which one I'm going to go to. Yeah. With Gavel, you can be at two or three at the same time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. Yeah. Um, so I think that's really good. So we have had a client this month actually that um, wanted to bid on a property and wasn't going to be here. It was fly in, fly out workers. So we did give John a call and say, what should we do? Because uh, his parents didn't live here, uh, didn't really have any friends out. And, um, go and put their hand up to spend uh, a few hundred thousand dollars. So it's, it's good to know the different options and that's why we thought it'd be a good update for us today. And it is, um, it is another uh, thing that I do occasionally as well. I will go and bid on behalf of other people. Oh, excellent. So people can engage yeah, you to do that. Sort of okay, that's good. And then can you just explain to our clients, so a lot, most of our clients probably are buying property yeah. rather than selling property. Yeah. And um, uh, definitely when they sell, obviously they can engage you no matter who their real estate agent is. Yeah. Um, but why do people, why do vendors choose to go to auction? Why are they, what's the difference for a vendor going to auction? So vendors will choose to go to auction. I think a lot of the time will be the agent will be saying this is the best thing for them. So currently the auction rate stands around about 50%, the auction clearance rate on auction day. 
Approximately 50% of properties are selling on auction day. Days on market for auction properties are around about 30, whereas private treaty is around about 60. Yeah, okay. So you've got a 50% chance of selling your property in half the amount of time. So that's the reason why. And if you go with a, with a no price auction as well, it gives you two chances of hitting a peak on realestate.com, domain.com, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. Because there is a peak when it first goes on for uh, buyers coming through. And then when you put a price on, if it doesn't sell, you get that second peak. Okay, that's good yeah. to know. Yeah, okay. And then uh, we often get clients asking us, can we bid before auction? So um, you just said that your diary is full uh, for yeah. 11 o'clock for the next few Sundays, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, what happens, what's a vendor's thought process generally? Um, they've got you booked in, they've probably already negotiated the fee that they're gonna pay you and their real estate agent, mm -hmm. and they've got that time frame in place. So what, what, to, for our clients that want to try and get it before they come and see you, yeah. uh, what's the sort of things that the vendor would be talking about with you and a real estate agent? Is it price points or time frame or the conditions? Look, so, look, I have a lot of properties sell prior to auction. Yeah. Um, and sometimes there's just a, a, an offer comes through that is too good to turn down. Yeah. And I absolutely understand that. Like, yeah. you know, and I, I sold my, one of my properties, I sold prior to auction. Yeah, okay. we, got, we, we, we got an offer that the, the conditions were all absolutely fantastic. They were willing to settle at the same time as It was two weeks prior to the auction. We sold it prior to auction. Yeah. Um, now, a lot of auctioneers who are watching this will kill me for saying that. But <laughs> I didn't want to lose my own. But look, that's, that's what happens. So, absolutely, if you're going, if you really want a property, put a strong offer in prior to auction because they might. A, a lot of the a lot of the vendors are nervous about going to auction as it is. Yeah. So if something comes comes in front of them, the, it's a cash unconditional offer. There's no calling off. You know they've waived their calling off, and the, there's no subject to finance, subject to building inspection, all that kind of thing. They might just take it. So I would say absolutely put offers in prior to, okay, prior to auction. But just because you've got an offer in prior to auction is turned down doesn't mean that they won't accept that on auction day. I was going to say that, so some people do think that I wouldn't show my cards. I don't yeah. want to tell no, you what no, I'll pay yeah. for that property. Yeah. Um, but I do think it comes down to, especially when a few of our clients have missed properties, then they're yeah. like, right, we're going to go in hard yeah. and make sure we get that. So. Absolutely, and that's what we see all the time. Yeah. You know, people who I've seen at 10 auctions, always yeah. missing out. Yeah. Because they think they're going to get it for, for a bargain if they go to auction. Yeah. And they suddenly, a, a year later, actually putting in really stick offers. Yeah, okay, yeah. 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 Um, so John had an interesting comment to me this morning that a lot of people going to the auctions or the open inspections say, I've only got pre-approval, so I don't think I can come to um, uh, auctions. So that was really interesting feedback for me as a finance broker. So when we do pre-approval for our clients, we, I do explain to our clients, but I think this is probably good for everybody to know. When we do a pre-approval, we do ask our banks to fully assess the pre-approval. So not just get it in the system and tick some boxes, do a full assessment for our clients. So a pre-approval means the banks have had a look at it, they're happy with information in regards to your income and deposit and everything else that we've told them. The banks will always generally still need to do evaluation and sometimes do some mortgage insurance um, assessment. So really that's as good as you can get if you do any finance. Um, no banks will go unconditional on you before they know what house you're buying. So I think it's definitely important to have pre-approval, but don't think that you're Pre-approval means you can't go to auction. We do it all the time. Certainly stresses us out, the conveyancing team and everybody out. It's always a little bit more stressful auction, but we've never had any dramas with it. So it, it's a really good way to get in and get the house that you want and see what's happening in the market. Um, and I'd to say on that yeah. as well though, we, auction campaigns are very short. Yeah. So they're generally three, three weeks, maybe four weeks at a stretch at the moment in the metropolitan area. So getting your pre-approval before you even have your property that you've looked at. You, if you see your dream property and you haven't seen it in week one, maybe you're seeing it in the last week. Yeah. You haven't been to see someone like you before then. Chances of you getting approval and chances of you missing out on your dream home are much bigger, aren't they? That's yeah. right. So you need to get pre-approval as soon as possible, as soon as you start looking on realestate.com. Yeah. Uh, and then just uh, lastly, before we finish, um, any just general information? What's happening in the market here in South Australia at the moment? Oh, look, as I said, it's pro approximately 50% clearance rate. Yeah. Um, auctions are coming back. It seems that after the election, people are seeming to be a bit more um, happy to go to auction, happy yeah. to turn up, happy to register, happy to spend a bit more money. So yeah. it's looking pretty good. Okay, that's excellent. Yeah. So um, John is on Facebook as well. We'll share his page under our page and he's happy to answer any questions. So if you've got any questions about auctioning uh, your property or buying an auction, just comment underneath. We'll introduce you to John as well if you like. So have a good day and uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit more information about auctions. Thank you Thanks very much. No worries. Okay.